Hey everyone and welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. I've got something uh, very interesting for you today and that is a kind of how to build a light box. Uh, why are we building a light box, Brian? Uh, well, this is a great introduction, a good cross section of how to build metal aircraft. Uh, Vans Aircraft obviously builds experimental uh, kit planes, light sport airplanes, but they also have developed a couple little do-it-yourself kits that gives you, again, a good cross-section of what it's like working with metal uh, with different uh, drills, uh, rivets, demplers, uh, all the basic tools that you would require to work with metal. So they've given you like AN hardware as far as rivet goes, pop rivets, uh, if you so choose to take the simple route, and basically anybody can do one of these kits. So if you don't have all the tools for working with like a Vans aircraft, you can put one of these together with just basically a pop riveter uh, and you can enjoy it as well. But it's a really cool kit. I'm gonna walk you through the steps coming up right now. Okay, step one, of course, would be to inventory everything that came in the box for this project. Then go through and do a quick review of the instructions for doing the assembly so that you know what you're up against. After you've thoroughly read through the instructions, another thing you could do is go through with a highlighter or a marker and just circle all the different part numbers so it's really easy to identify looking over the plans. Okay, so the next step would be to dimple only the nut plate rivet holes at this time as shown, and that would be on this assembly. And this C-frame comes in very handy for doing the dimples. So after dimpling, after dimpling the angles, then dimple the nut plates and then use Clecos to fasten the nut plates to the angle. Next, drill number 27 and deburr all holes in the LB00002 light box back plate. And from here, you have the option of which type of rivet to use to assemble the rest of it, whether you want to use pop rivets or flush rivets or anything you want. And from this point on, basically follow the, the plans here for the rest of the assembly. Choose whichever side you want to build first from here. I chose the bottom, put in the L angle, uh, on the bottom here first. At this time, be a good idea to put a piece of paper down the bottom or carpet to keep from scratching the metal. And again, you've got an option of using a riv rivet gun, uh, doing normal AN rivets, or pulling or pulled rivets, pop rivets. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to take shape. It's jumping off the table now. Now this is the back side of where the uh, back plate will mount, the back panel, onto the front. Okay, nearly done with the metal work. All the sides are on. 
Just have to rivet the top corners. And then it'll be on to the actual logo. Look at all that shiny metal. If you're finding value in this video, hit the like button on this video and it's really important that you subscribe as it helps me get sponsors like Airworks, Kit Plane Parts, Acme Aero, Edge Performance Engines, and Viking Aircraft Engines. And be sure to check out the links in the description below for special offers from our affiliates. Let's jump back in. So nearly there, the front has been riveted on. Now they give you the option again to do pop rivets or solid AN rivets. Uh, or flush here and I chose a mix of everything. So there's the AN rivet and the side I used a couple pop rivets. So the front is all on now. Peel that protective coating back just enough to get to the rivets of course to keep it from getting scratched. Then after that is done, everything at the moment, all the metal work essentially is done and sitting on its own here. So lastly, what you do is you mark a hole wherever you want the electrical wires to come out of and do a pilot hole and then you use a step bit and you go to three quarter, uh, three quarter of an inch on the step and that allows you to insert a grommet for the wiring. So next up is to wash down the metal and then install the wiring, install the lighting. So the LED lights have been installed and I was concerned if I was going to put some on the front or the back, but they provide you enough that you can go around it twice. So it doesn't matter if you put them installed on the front or the back. There's plenty of it to go around. Uh, of course they recommend wiping it down with some type of alcohol. I use mineral spirits and that worked just fine as well. And then clean out any uh, burrs, metal that you got from drilling, and then just stick it right on. It's a two sided sticky tape deal in the corners. I didn't push it tight into the corners, kind of left a little bit of a radius because it's like a ribbon, electrical ribbon tape. So a hard corner might break or damage the electrical on that. And then the, the grommet fit perfectly in that three quarter inch step hole. And now all's left to do is flip it over. I'll put the, uh, the back on, flip it over, plug it in, and check this thing out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that simple kind of a how-to of this uh, light box thing. Honestly, when I first got the box and opened it up and I saw this great big set of plans that came with it, uh, I was a little apprehensive if I wanted to dive into it. I think it might take a couple days or something like that, but once you actually inventory it and start reading through the drawings, I mean, as you can see, there was only a couple of lines of instructions and, and you're, you're, you're there, you're done. So anyway, uh, this is something that you could and can get done in one evening if you start early uh, and if you have the proper tools. So uh, I definitely recommend if you've never done any metal work before, this is something um, as a good sample. And if you want to get one of these things, um, head over to vansaircraft.com forward slash EAC, meaning Experimental Aircraft Channel, and there's a special uh, kind of promotion going on. So go over there and use the promo code EXPERIMENTAL and you will get $5 off the normal price. Normal price is $130. You'll get $5 off uh, and you will also get, let's see, it's uh, $30 for USA shipping. So it leaves you a total of $155 shipped to your door in the USA. International customers uh, ask for a quote and they'll get you a quote for shipping. And this offer, this promo is good until the end of 2020. So you've got a lot of time left to use this promo uh, and get a deal on getting one of these light boxes built. 
And I also believe they have a few other projects available to build. I think there's a toolbox or whatnot, and I may, I may build one of those next. Hey everyone, if you are new to this channel, I invite you to hit the like button right now and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. <music>